The Northrop Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk is a high-altitude, remotely piloted surveillance aircraft. It was initially designed by Ryan Aeronautical, now part of Northrop Grumman, and known as Tier 2 Plus during development. The RQ-4 provides a broad overview and systematic surveillance using high-resolution synthetic aperture radar and electro-optical infrared sensors with long loiter times over target areas. It can survey as much as 40,000 square miles off terrain per day, an area the size of South Korea or Iceland. The Global Hawk is operated by the United States Air Force. It is used as a high-altitude long-endurance platform covering the spectrum of intelligence collection capability to support forces in worldwide military operations. According to the USAF, the superior surveillance capabilities of the aircraft allow more precise weapons targeting and better protection of friendly forces. Cost overruns led to the original plan to acquire 63 aircraft being cut to 45, and to a 2013 proposal to mothball the 21 Block 30 Signals intelligence variants. The initial flyaway cost of each of the first 10 aircraft was US$10 million in 1994. By 2001 this had risen to US$60.9 million, and then to US$131.4 million in 2013. The U.S. Navy has developed the Global Hawk into the MQ-4C Triton Maritime Surveillance Platform. The United States Navy took delivery of two of the Block 10 aircraft to evaluate their maritime surveillance capabilities, designated N-1 and N-2. The initial navalized example was tested at Edwards Air Force Base briefly, before moving to Nas Patuxent River in March 2006 for the Global Hawk Maritime Demonstration Program operated by Navy Squadron VX-20. In January 2014, President Obama signed a budget that included a $10 million study on adapting the U-2 superior sensors for the RQ-4. In April 2015, Northrop Grumman reportedly installed the U-2's optical bar camera and senior year electro-optical reconnaissance system sensors onto the RQ-4 using a universal payload adapter. Successful testing indicated that all RQ-4s could be similarly retrofitted. On 14 July 2015, Northrop Grumman and the USAF signed an agreement to demonstrate an RQ-4B fitted with the U-2's OBC and SYERS-2C sensors. Two Global Hawks are to be fitted with the UPA, involving the installation of 17 payload adapter fixtures and a new payload bay cover as well as software and mission system changes for each sensor. The UPA can support 1,200 pounds of sensors and will create a canoe-shaped sensor bay on the fuselage's underside. Northrop Grumman also expects to receive a contract to integrate the UTC Aerospace System's MS-177 multispectral sensor used on the E-8CJSTARS onto the RQ-4. The MS-177 will replace the Sires II and includes modernized optronics and a gimbaled rotation device to increase field of view by 20%. The RQ-4B flew with the Sires II on 18 February 2016. The RQ-4B Block 30 is capable of multi-intelligence collecting with SAR and EO IR sensors along with the Airborne Signals Intelligence Payload, a wide-spectrum SIGINT sensor. The RQ-4B Block 40 is equipped with the Multi-Platform Radar Technology Insertion Program Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, which provides SAR and moving target indication data for wide-area surveillance of stationary and moving targets. Following the September 11 attacks, the normal acquisition process was bypassed almost immediately and early developmental Global Hawk models were employed in overseas contingency operations beginning in November 2001. Global Hawk ACTD prototypes were used in the war in Afghanistan and in the Iraq War. Since April 2010, they fly the northern route, from Beale Air Force Base over Canada to Southeast Asia and back, reducing flight time and improving maintenance. While their data collection capabilities have been praised, the program lost three prototype aircraft to accidents, more than one quarter of the aircraft used in the wars. On 24 April 2001, a Global Hawk flew non-stop from Edwards AFB to RAAF Base Edinburgh in Australia, making history by being the first pilotless aircraft to cross the Pacific Ocean. 
The flight took 22 hours, and set a world record for absolute distance flown by a UAV, 13,219.86 km. On the 22nd of March 2008, a Global Hawk set the endurance record for full-scale, operational uncrewed aircraft UAVs by flying for 33.1 hours at altitudes up to 60,000 feet over Edwards AFB. From its first flight in 1998 to the 9th of September 2013, the combined Global Hawk fleet flew 100,000 hours. 88% of flights were conducted by USAFR Q4s, while the remaining hours were flown by NASA Global Hawks, the Euro Hawk, the Navy BAMS Demonstrator, and the MQ-4C Triton. Approximately 75% of flights were in combat zones. RQ-4s flew in operations over Afghanistan, Iraq, and Libya, and supported disaster response efforts in Haiti, Japan, and California. From 10 to the 16th of September 2014, the RQ-4 fleet flew a total of 781 hours, the most hours flown by the type during a single week. 87% of flights were made by USAF RQ-4s, with the rest flown by the Navy BAMS-D and NASA Hurricane research aircraft. The longest Global Hawk combat sortie lasted 32.5 hours. On 19 June 2019, a U.S. Navy BAMS DRQ-4A flying over the Persian Gulf near the Strait of Hormuz was shot down by a third Kordad surface-to-air missile fired from near Garouk, Iran. Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif said that the drone had been in Iranian airspace, while the United States maintained that the drone was in international airspace 18 nautical miles away from Iran. In December 2007, Two Global Hawks were transferred from the USAF to NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center at Edwards AFB. Initial research activities beginning in the second quarter of 2009 supported NASA's high-altitude, long-duration Earth science missions. The two Global Hawks were the first and sixth aircraft built under the original DARPA Advanced Concept Technology Demonstration Program, and were made available to NASA when the Air Force had no further need for them. Northrop Grumman is an operational partner with NASA and will use the aircraft to demonstrate new technologies and to develop new markets for the aircraft, including possible civilian uses. In 2009, NATO announced that it expected to have a fleet of up to eight Global Hawks by 2012 to be equipped with MPRTIP radar systems. NATO had budgeted US$1.4 billion for the project, and a letter of intent was signed. NATO signed a contract for five Block 40 Global Hawks in May 2012. Twelve NATO members are participating in the purchase. On 10 January 2014, Estonia revealed it wanted to participate in NATO Global Hawk usage. In July 2017, the USAF assigned the mission designation series of RQ-4D to the NATO AGS air vehicle. The first RQ-4D aircraft arrived at Saganella Air Base on 21 November 2019. At that time, all five aircraft were undergoing developmental test flights. Initial operational capability was expected in the first half of 2020. In October 2018, Italy certified five of the drones for use in Saganella, Sicily in 2020. However, by 23 December 2019, there were regulatory issues for the Global Hawks concerning shared space between Germany and Italy. German government officials criticized the new drones for their lack of technology to avoid collisions with other aircraft. On 17 December 2014, Northrop Grumman was awarded a $657 million contract by South Korea for four RQ-4B Block 30 Global Hawks. The first RQ-4 arrived on 23 December 2019 at a base near Seichen. The second arrived on 19 April 2020, and the third by June. The fourth and final Global Hawk was delivered in September 2020. On 24 August 2013, Japan announced that the Japan Air Self-Defense Force planned to operate one Global Hawk jointly with the US by 2015. The first Japanese Global Hawk landed at Misawa Air Base on 12 March 2022. Australia considered the purchase of a number of Global Hawks for maritime and land surveillance. 
The Global Hawk was to be assessed against the MQ-9 Mariner in trials in 2007. The Global Hawk aircraft would have operated in conjunction with crewed Boeing P-8 Poseidon aircraft, as a replacement of aging AP-3C Orion aircraft. In the end, the Australian government decided not to proceed and cancelled the order. In 2012, a procurement effort for seven UAVs by 2019 was initiated. In May 2013 the Australian government confirmed its interest in acquiring the MQ-4C Triton maritime surveillance variant. Canada has also been a potential customer, looking at the Global Hawk for maritime and land surveillance as either a replacement for its fleet of CP-140 Aurora patrol aircraft or to supplement crewed patrols of remote Arctic and maritime environments, before withdrawing from the joint effort in August 2011. Spain has a similar requirement, and has existing contacts with Northrop Grumman. The New Zealand Defence Force is studying the Global Hawk, which has the range to conduct surveillance in the Southern Ocean around Antarctica, and in the Pacific Islands. The acquisition process has not moved beyond an expression of interest. The Indian Navy has expressed interest in acquiring 6-8 MQ-4C maritime surveillance unmanned aircraft systems. In September 2018, Transport Canada was looking into buying a former German Air Force Eurohawk for surveillance missions in the Arctic. The Eurohawk cannot currently fly and has no equipment inside such as GPS and navigation tools. Hope you guys love the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to all. So you can get the notification on each upload.